just in case you were thinking that it's all sunshine and roses when we were going on these trips. We're gonna see if this bad boy can uh, can do uh, 250 kilowatts. overly excited lately at the beginning of videos. <laughs> Our dog is a little too heavy <laughs> to jump up there so she gets an elevator. She's old. You're a good girl though aren't you Bella? She's a good puppy. <laughs> there you go you found the spot. Perfect spot. <laughs> this is our setup for Bella back here. Got a nice little cover. Keep the dog hair at bay a little bit. So A little bit. Ooh. She gets to stay with Grand Grand and Papa yes. this trip. Say bye, Bella. <laughs> Wasn't the right spot yet. <laughs> she's still going. <laughs> All right, she's got it. <laughs> so we're pretty excited. We're headed on this great adventure. <laughs> to Branson like we go every year. And we are gonna take a little bit longer of a route. Uh, a surprise, hopefully. The children are yelling at each other. <laughs> but it's cool, that's the way road trips go sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah, our children really love each other. Yes, they've been together for a long time now. But anyway, yeah, so we are going through Kansas City tonight to drop off the dog, give the kids a little bit of a break in the car, and then we will continue on our way to Branson tomorrow. I'm distracted by what is happening Daddy! over here. All right, I will give you some of mine because we don't need tons anyway. Yeah, we got some water up front, guys. Just grab that black one, take a drink. Just in case you were thinking that it's all sunshine and roses when we were going on these trips. <laughs> I need my own pop. Yep, <laughs> so, she's the boss. She is. But. So, our first charging will be at Grand Grand and Papa's. Yes. Uh, in Kansas City. It'll probably just be a 110, so it'll be super slow. But then in the morning, we'll uh, hit a supercharger or I'll go tonight. It just kind of depends what time we get there. Yeah. So, but we better get on the road because it's getting late. Let's hit the road. So, we're five miles into the trip. Uh, our consumption is pretty low because we're doing probably an average of 55, 60 mile an hour. But. Uh, the trip to Kansas City, it says we'll end with 23%. When we started, it was saying 27%. <laughs> Yahtzee, you lost the camera. <laughs> um, when we started, it was saying that we'd get there with 27%. So now it's saying 23%. Let's see what it says when we get to KC. This is easy. There's no fear in this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We're used to fearing if we can make it or not. Yeah. 1% per mile, we definitely wouldn't make it. <laughs> Got to our first stop. I think we ended up going 196 miles. Uh, we ended with 324 watt hours per mile, so a lot better than towing, that's for sure. But it did end up right at that 27%, like it first stated uh, when we took off, which is pretty impressive uh, for us. That's not really uh, happened, uh, especially when we're towing. 
it doesn't compensate very well. I'm gonna plug into a 110 outlet, uh, get some juice flowing in here. We don't need a ton in the morning. If we do, we'll just stop at the supercharger before we head out of town. But yeah, we're gonna head south. So continue on our road trip. See you in the morning. Well, we got a whopping 9% charge, I think, uh, <laughs> for about 10 to 11 hours of charging. But that's what you get for, you know, charging on 110 volt. So, uh, but we're gonna wrap this up, get it put in the car, and then head on down to Branson. Hey, fellas. Hey, girls. Make sure Papa takes her on the long walks, okay? Bye, Papa. What are we doing, bud? I'm going out. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to head to Emporia. Because I'm excited. I read online that when you get the... 2020 28.5, um, I believe it is, you can actually get a 250 kilowatt max charge on a Tesla Model X and an S. So we want to go try that out, um, but let's hit the road. Kansas. We just got done charging here. Uh, it's a version 3, so we thought maybe it would charge 250 kilowatts. It did not. It only charged 164 kilowatts. <laughs> so, um, you know, I probably messed something up. Who knows? But uh, definitely not there yet. We're even on the new uh, update, the 28.5, uh, which supposedly supposed to make the X 250 kilowatts but maybe we don't have a new enough one or something like that or this is a February 2020 build but anyways just finished up at Ichiban uh, getting some food now we're going to head towards Joplin Missouri and then that'll be our next stop but yeah we got a really good consumption coming down here uh, and got some good speeds for supercharging. It stayed roughly around that 90 for most of the time. I want to check what it's getting right now. <laughs> 36 kilowatts. <laughs> but it's a, at the 90 percent. So. Right, he thinks we're going straight on to Joplin. He's actually going to stop and get me some coffee first. Oh yeah, we do need some coffee. <laughs> coffee is essential and we have not had any yet today. Thank you for choosing scooters or when you're ready. Yeah, can we get a medium caramelicious blender? Coffee. Coffee. Well, sugar with a little bit of coffee. Joplin supercharger. Yeah, the, this is not my favorite location for a supercharger. A little I, sketch. Like, I this building seems like it's abandoned. Yes, definitely. There's abandoned. 
creeper van back here. Hey, maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised and we'll get a lot of juice. Maybe. Let's hook up. Detrific. Not bad. Yes. Jumped up to 136 right away. Looks like it's probably gonna max out there. Yeah. Which is fine. We'll see how long that lasts. If you are in Joplin and are using the supercharger, you better have your Sam's Club card with you. <laughs> Cause uh, I mean, there's like a Cheddar's like up over here or something and like there's some sit down restaurants, but as far as a quick drink in a bathroom, su or, uh, Sam's Club is about all you get. Yeah. So. But you moved the car and you did some things. What'd you do? Yeah, so um, putting the cold rag on the handle of the supercharger does really work. So it was at about, it cranked up to 140 kilowatts and then it dropped way down to 60. I did that, it went back up to 90. But once it heated back up, then it dropped back down to 60 by the time we got a Sam's Club. So I was just kind of playing around with it. I uh, uh, moved the car and did the cold rag again, and it's staying at 115 kilowatts uh, with 50, 60 uh, percent battery uh, for a little while. So I definitely think that that works. I can check it again and see where it's at. Yeah, so it's dropped down to 110 right now. So now so, we can hopefully ch charge faster when we're towing and have to charge all the time. Yeah, so you just gotta definitely, I'm gonna put some more cold water on it and see if it bumps it back up. It may be getting to the point of the battery that it won't let it charge that fast, but it's worth a try. Yeah, and it's super hot, so I'm getting back in the car. We got here to Branson, <laughs> so today we're going to go do the fun things in Branson. Yes. Yay! Uh, we got here with 30% charge. We're already down to 19 just from uh, the heat and all sorts of stuff, so we'll definitely have to charge. Branson is a little bit more difficult charging um, because they don't. All they have is level two. They don't have any level 3 DC fast charging, but uh, they have a lot of those level 2s around town, so we'll be able to find it, and as we're exploring that part of the town, then it'll just be charging. But, okay, so, yeah, we're going to go grab some lunch and do some more exploring. We'll tell you what we find out about having a Tesla in Branson. Yeah. Steve sent me to go charge the car at Tanger Outlets here in Branson, and it was a no-go. <laughs> I mean, the car charged, but we were there probably an hour, somewhere between an hour and a half to two hours, and we got 3%. So... <laughs> it was free, but, you know, yeah. only 6 kilowatts. I think all over the place. Yeah, it is. It's got to get lunch. It'll be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sometimes we don't really know where to eat and things like that, you know, become indecisive. And so 
we'll just let the Tesla charging decide. And so a lot of restaurants and stuff will have destination chargers. Uh, and so the place that we're going to now, what's it called? Paschetti's. Paschetti's. It has a destination charger, so we'll be able to charge while we eat. We hope. We'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. We drove by and I didn't see it earlier, but it said there was one. So, but we'll see if we can't get a better charge there. And then we're going to a show tonight. We're going to the Presley's, so it should be fun. Lots of fun. So the destination wah, wah. charger was false information we received. It's from a Best Western. So, and the etiquette is for destination chargers, you only use the charger if you are patronizing that particular business and it's for the Best Western, so. Yeah, that, unless if it says on charge point or plug share that anybody can charge there, if it says public, charging then anybody can charge her. I'm gonna rip my head off high. Hi. So, Hi. wah wah. Wah wah, but we're gonna go get some tasty dinner now, so. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> up the Tesla from its overnight charging we ended up bringing it back out to Tanger um, and just having a family member like pick us up and drop us off so that we could actually charge because it took so long and it was on the charger for uh, third no how long was it it was 14 almost 15 hours I think and it just got up to 90%. So that was the slowest <laughs> charge ever. But now we have 90%, so we are good to go and we can uh, get some, some adventures in for the rest of the day. So let's head back and get the family. This is one of those moments where we kind of lucked out a little bit, but it looks like the parking lot is pretty dang full. It's definitely full. And, uh, we got the EV spots are all open, so. Yes. We're lucky! Yay! Yay. Woohoo! We're gonna grab some dinner in Branson, charge the car while we're here. It's probably gonna get like a whopping, what, six kilowatts or something again, so. Yeah, it's a six kilowatt charger, but it's free, so whatever. Yeah, it's free and we leave tomorrow, so we might as well get a few extra percent before we go, so. Yeah, we might. It's been charging. Since we charged all night last night, we still have 79% left, and I don't know. We'll have to calculate it, but maybe we don't have to charge in Springfield. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see, but let's get it plugged in and go get our names in for dinner. Because this place actually looks busy, and it has And then not we need to go to the arcade. <laughs> I feel like their cords are kind of a hot mess here. Yeah. So we just use our, what is it called? Passport? Wallet, our Apple wallet. Apple wallet. We just use our Apple wallet, stick it up to the screen, yeah. and card is authorizing. So then each Tesla comes with this, so you can turn the this J1, I don't even remember what it's called, <laughs> J1 something, into a Tesla charger. So let's go plug this. Bad boy. Maybe these are jacked up over here. Abracadabra! Blow on it like a Super Nintendo <laughs> video game. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. So, right. let me move it. Go plug that back in. Here. No! Why are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? I don't know. They're all over. 
over the place. All right, let's try it again. Attempt number two. Attempt number two. Your card is now authorizing. Your card okay. is now authorized. Plug in this fancy thing. Guess if it doesn't work, just make like leave it plugged in and pretend like we're charging. <laughs> there we go. There is a green. Green means Magically go. Locked. How do you shut the button? Give them a whopping seven kilowatts. Now I just gotta get. Hey, at least this one's getting 240 volts. The last one was getting 207. So, all right, well, let's charge her up. So we're ready to hit the road. Yeah, we're leaving. Uh, we thought we might have to stop at Springfield, but it doesn't look like it. We just got the car all loaded up. Yes, but we may stop in Springfield for scooters. Oh yeah, we gotta get some coffee somewhere. So, but let's get her closed up. All right, so it says 218 miles will end with 14% energy. So let's see where that ends up, starting off with 88%. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. No? Yeah, we are on the road again. Thanks. things we've never done because we come to Branson every year I don't know if we said that or not yet but one of the things that we've never done is stop at the Osceola cheese company uh, and so we figured it was a good middle of the road break for us to stop and go potty and grab some goodies there is so much cheese in there and that place <laughs> was so busy and then we also figured out that we're gonna go to the Olathe supercharger that's where we're gonna stop and Meet up with Katie's parents. Get a cooler for our cheese. So our cheese don't go bad. My first bite of cheese was pretty good. I can see why it was busy. Don't need any stanky cheese. We got about 89 miles uh, to go to Olathe Supercharger from Osceola Cheese. So, cue the B-roll. No? B-roll of me eating <laughs> some cheese. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Overloaded it. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. Let's see what happens. My guess is you're gonna have to reset it. Yeah, it's still like on autopilot and breaking and all that, so that's good. Alright, let's reset it. So you press these two wheels here, you press them in and then I'll reset everything. It freaks me out. It's freaky. <laughs> yeah, because it all shuts off. You have no blinkers. <laughs> but autopilot still works. <laughs> so we smash into the person in front of us. Even the lane change works, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is funny. We need the uh, Jeopardy. Music. Here she comes. Tell the air shut off. Right. We're back. Pulling so, into the supercharger in Olathe, Kansas. Yes, we're probably going to be about 8% by the time that we get there. This is a 150 kilowatt charger. Uh, the trip planner says we need 55% to make it all the way home. We'll see if we do that or there's supercharger in between here and there. If we get antsy, we can always hit the road and supercharge there a little bit. This is officially the most cars yes. that have ever been in the supercharger. <laughs> we live in the Midwest and uh, yeah, 
there's never this many. No, they're in four cars. cars charging right now. Like we had to actually like calculate which charger we needed to pull into. So we were using proper etiquette because yeah. normally we don't have to deal with that. Oh, there he goes. But let's see what kind of charge we get now. Let's do it. No kidding, battery's very low. All right, let's see what she ramps up to. And another Tesla left. So we're just down to two. That was short lived. It's a Model Y, too. Ooh. Pretty looking one. It's like we're at 115. We'll see if it jumps up. I'll show you if it jumps up. Let's go. We have been reunited with the car. Yeah, 9% to 94%. So hopefully that'll be enough because we do have some rain and pretty heavy rain, it looks like we're going to run into. So, yeah, some storms. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I got up to only up to about 116 kilowatts. So, I'm not sure what good. that was about. But then it kind of settled down to 81, 82 kilowatts for. Yeah, most of the time until I got close to that 90%. Yeah, Let's get but anyway, unplugged. I've never seen the instructions on how to park. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go take a look at that. In case you don't know how to reverse into angled parking. That's funny. That's funny. Well, should we go get the puppy? Let's do it. All right. Hi, puppy. Hi, baby girl. Get the dog. Jump in there. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> wow, such a fantastic jump. Big jump. Bye bye. See you, Bella. She's got her own vents and everything back there. Well, got her punched in here. We said we're going to end with 14%, so we shouldn't have to stop at St. Joe unless if somebody has to go to the restroom, and then we will just to get a little extra juice. The only thing we worry about is that we're going to hit storms right around where? Uh, Mound City. Mound City, this area here. So, yeah. To the road. City to Lincoln and we made her. Yes, we did. We got 361 watt hours per mile. Our kids are ready to be home. Woo, lightning! Yeah, we definitely hit some weather coming home. Yes. So. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 361 watt hours per mile uh, for the last 200 miles. And we're going to plug her in when we got here because we ended with. I think 13 percent. We'll put that up somewhere. Somewhere. On Bella's forehead. <laughs> Make your eyeballs stick out. You happy to be home, Bella? Can you say bye, Bella? Say bye, guys. Bella, wave. Bella, wave. She's like, I don't know what to do. Bella, wave. <laughs> wave. Good girl. Good girl. All right, you ready? Go inside. Let's go. I know this video is a little bit different than our towing videos. Uh, we just wanted to show you how well the car can do when you're not towing. Uh, it's actually a pretty easy road tripping vehicle. So, yeah. and if you like this type of video, we can continue to do them. 
when we're going on road trips just let us know in the comments below we're like never home we're always going somewhere so yeah, so if you find this interesting we can uh, uh, learn with you on some of the charging that's that's the interesting thing is we put some of these things out there um, and then people comment below about how to do that or how to fix that and so we actually like it <laughs> yes we learn so anyways yeah so if you liked it definitely give it a thumbs up uh, if you want to what nothing we just continue to have blindy kids keep well, going it's family life yes so anyways right. go ahead. uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video yeah uh, make sure and subscribe if you want to <laughs> what do they need to do if they like the video ollie <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bye, thanks guys. for coming along. Bye.